All right, so hello everyone. My name is Zhe Dong Wang. I will talk about rounding in the rings. This is a joint work with Feng Hao Liu. This is the outline. First of all, I will give a quick overview of uh, the background. Then I talk about the Liu reduction from search ring algorithm to decision ring algorithm. Finally, I will show the new harness results of module algorithm with leaky secret. Okay, let's enter the first part. Our topic is motivated by the post-quantum cryptography and aims to study theoretical foundations of post-quantum cryptography. So the motivation of post-quantum post cryptography is that most current in use public key crypto system can be broken by large scale quantum computers as, because the mathematical uh, fu fundamental problems uh, such as integer factorization, discrete logarithm, ECC et al. will be uh, broken by the famous Shor's algorithms on quantum computers. Therefore, for further security, least calls for uh, new standards. Uh, the crypto system should achieve uh, post-quantum security and uh, high efficiency simultaneously. And we know that uh, deployment and new standards can take a lot of time. So we had better start now. To achieve this goal, one promising direction is lattice-based cryptography, which enjoys uh, more focus uh, in uh, PQC. Uh, the fun foundations of lattice-based cryptography are the uh, hard problems. However, la basic uh, lattice problems such as SVP or SIVP are not suited for constructing crypto system directly. In 2005, Rigue proposed a hard problem called learning with errors. Simply speaking, LWA aims to uh, find the secret S from many no noisy inner products of random vector A and uh, secret S, or determine the pair AB from uh, random pairs. The so noise uh, distributed as uh, discrete Gaussian. Since, since it was proposed, LWA draws widely attention because there uh, is a reduction from basic uh, lattice problems to LWE. That is to say, if the underlying lattice problem is hard for a quantum computers, so is the LWE. And uh, we can design, ma design many advanced cryptos from LWE, such as free homomorphic encryption and more. Well, it's plain LWE is good enough. Uh, the plain LWE means LWE it's in the uh, form as we defined, defined before. And actually, uh, this is not because of the efficiency. So usually, plain LWE suffers large case, and the uh, Gaussian simply involved in choosing noise is cumbersome. And the list also did not select plain LWE based photo as final list, yet as a, a backup alternative. So what do we need? Maybe the so-called Liu Hohu is the answer. Well, it, it is not the end because we should uh, we should achieve more with the so-called Kai or Saber. So I will explain uh, a little bit more uh, what's uh, Liu Hohu or what's the hope. So the hope is we need more uh, mathematical structures. So what additional mathematical structures can improve efficiency? We can work in the rings, and we can use rounding. Uh, so what do they mean? OK, uh, instead of working on CQ to the N, we can work on RQ to the K for some ring R. And instead of adding arrows uh, to the inner product, we can use rounding. In fact, uh, those two ideas have been exploited in the list of PQC standards. For example, uh, the Liu Hope and the LAC in second round and uh, Kyber and Sabre in uh, third round. However, we're working with uh, additional mathematical uh, structure may incur uh, further subtleties. For example, which ring should be choose and how to run? Actually, uh, these are exactly the motivations of learning with rounding over rings or ring LWR. So we formalize the definition of ring LWR law which was firstly proposed by Banerjee, Piker, and Rose in 2013. In 2012, uh, the ring LWR is defined with parameters PQ uh, and the ring R. 
the search pro problem is to uh, find the sequence from given samples at the pair AB, where A is a random element in RRQ, and B equal to the rounding of A times S. And the rounding of an element X with respect to PQ is defined as uh, the rounding of P over Q times X, then mod P. Okay, so the de decision problem is to distinguish the pair AB from uniformly random pair. We know that ring at B uh, conceals low order bits by adding small random error and the ring at just discuss those bits instead. Ring at can be applied to many uh, interesting crypto primitives such as pseudorandom functions, compet computational reusable extractor, loss trapped function, over one loss trapped functions, and thus obtained the CC2 public key encryption via the framework of Hiker and Waters in 2008. We we'll also construct a very simple uh, deterministic encryption by Ring Adler. Interestingly, there are two submissions, the Zebra in round three and the round five in round two, based on a uh, Ring Adler among least uh, post quantum round two and uh, round three submissions. Okay, uh, given many useful applications above, it is important uh, to determine the hardest of ring adler, and uh, it is also the focus of this work. I summarize prior hardest results of plain adler and uh, ring adler uh, by the following figures. More precisely, we consider the hardest of these problems problems in two cases with super poly modulus and uh, with poly modulus. For plain adler, the hardest results are more complete. First of all, we can show basic reduction line of LV from a prior works. And uh, there are simple reductions from search LW to search LW and the decision LW to decision LW with super poly modules from the work of BPR2. The work by Bai Langwa, Lampers, Danny Stepstead, and Stanfield in 2015, and the work by Bogdanov, Go, Nestle, Richards, and Rosen in uh, 2016 separately show a reduction from a search LRB to search LRB with poly modules. And the work of BGMRR16 also shows the reduction from search to decision LRB with uh, poly modules. Interestingly, the work by Owen, Crane, Pitek, and Wicks in 2013 shows another reduction uh, from a decision LRB to decision LRB with poly modules. Their reduction holds even with leaky secret. However, in the ring setting, the results are limited. Besides the basic reduction line of ring LW from prior works, we can also show reductions of ring other ring LW with uh, super poly modules by the same work of BPR12. The work of BGMRR16 also shows a reduction from a uh, search ring LW, ring LW uh, to a uh, search ring LW with poly modules, but there are uh, two main open questions in the ring setting compared with plain LWR. On the one hand, we don't know uh, the pseudorandomness of ring LWR with poly modules. On the other hand, uh, the hardness of a ring LWR or module LWR with leaky secret needs to be determined. Finally, it needs to point out that a super poly modulus suffers worse efficiency and uh, weaker security compared with uh, poly modulus. So it is important to determine the hardest of hardest results uh, for ring other with poly modules. With these open questions, now uh, I turn to the second part of this talk. Uh, this result also answers one of two main uh, uh, two uh, main open questions in prior works. As a pre preparation of our reduction. I, I will introduce a new uh, LWR framework, which uh, captures a more flexible uh, rounding procedure and uh, encompassing more algebraic uh, structures. Okay, so the rounding in prior works implicit is implicitly defined according to uh, the coefficient embedding, but this procedure does not suit for uh, the rings of with uh, with long integral coefficients such as the dual of Ring of uh, ring of integers. So here we propose a new rounding rounding procedure, rounding according to basis. We know that any ring of integers R has at least uh, one Z basis B. Uh, then an element X 
in R can be interpreted as the integral combination of the basis B. And the rounding of it is with respect to the coefficients corresponding to B. Well, let's uh, go a further step to define a new framework, which is called Lattice Elderbear. This framework is inspired by the work of Piker and Pepin in 2019. And uh, it encompasses all arbitrary structured LWR, such as ring LWR, poly order module LWR, and more. And uh, show that the harness of a ring LWR implies the harness of, of order a poly middle product LWR. So from this, we can focus on the harness of ring LWR. Okay, then let me show the uh, pseudo randomness of ring LWR. The target is to uh, show the reduction from search ring LWR to decision ring LWR. Namely, giving ring LWR samples and the decision ring LWR oracle D, uh, we wish to output as. The oracle D is defined to output 1 if the input pair is ring LWR sample and the output 0 if the pair is random. At high level, Finding S is equivalent to finding coefficients of S under basis B. And our uh, techniques are similar to that of LPR10, which shoots to the randomness of ring at the E. Our reduction path is as follows. Step one shoots uh, if search ring at the is hard. Uh, then the intermediate search a problem PI a ring at the is also hard. Step two shoots a reduction from PI ring algebra to an immediate worst case uh, decision problem uh, D ring algebra, ring algebra sub I, and the step three shoots uh, the reduction from D ring, al ring algebra sub I uh, to the average case pro problem decision ring algebra. We remarked that step three con contains two sub steps, which will be explained next. Let me elaborate the reduction chain. As we mentioned before, Step three has two sub-steps. The first one is a hybrid argument, which shows that if there exists an algorithm D can distinguish the pair A, B from random pair, then there must exist a distinguisher D, D, I, uh, that can distinguish the pair A, B mod P, I from the pair A, random U mod P, I. Here we use the uh, property Z, R, sub Q, but R, P. It can be factorized into the tensor of subrings under isomorphism. The second step is worst case to average case reduction, which means that if we can solve problem for uniform S, then we can solve problem for all S. Uh, this step involves uh, the re-randomization technique similar to BGMRR16. In detail, we transform the pair AB uh, into the pair ARB where R is a random invertible element, then the uh, new element A prime is also uniform, and the S prime equal to R inverse times S is also uniform over the invert, uh, over the invert domain. Thus, this step requires S invertible. For step two, we use the standard, uh, standard guess and check trick, which means that using uh, DI to find S mod PI, where uh, DI distinguish uh, the pair A, B mod PI and the A, U mod PI as before. Uh, given the pair A, B mod PI, we transform it into A plus uh, Q over P uh, times S and B plus H plus V times G, uh, where V and H are defined appropriately and uh, G is the guess of S mod PI. More precisely, V is defined as an uh, element that is uniformly random mod PI at zero otherwise. H is defined as uh, uniformly random over PJ. J is less than I and zero otherwise. The existence, the existence of V and H comes from Chinese Riemannian theorem. We can say if uh, G equals to S uh, mod PI, the block of H plus uh, V times G minus S in PI place is zero. Otherwise, <clears throat> it is uniformly random. In the former case, uh, B prime plus H plus V times G minus S mod PI equals to B prime uh, mod PI. And uh, the later case is uniformly random as H plus V times G minus S mod PI acts as a one-time pair law. Therefore, 
we can use the Oracle DI to test two cases and try all possible values to find a smart PI. Because we need to try all possible values, the size of a smart PI should be poly, which requires ideal PR highly speed. Furthermore, step one should that finding a smart PI for some PI implies finding a smart PR. Here, we use the uh, properties of uh, automorphisms or Galois group. The pair A, B mod P, G can be transformed into the pair sigma I, G, A, sigma I, G, B mod P, I. Because for any idea of P, I, P, G, there exists a sigma I, G such that sigma I, G, A, P, G equals to P, I. We wish that uh, the pair sigma I, G, A, sigma I, G, B is a valid sample for the search oracle S, I such that uh, sigma IGB equals to the rounding of a uh, sigma IGA times sigma IGS, and uh, SI can output uh, the sigma IGS model PI. Then we can use the inverse of, the, of this automorphism to find S model PG, and uh, finally output uh, S model PR by changing the remaining zero. So what here do we need? It is, a rounding, uh, it is sigma of rounding equals to a rounding of sigma which means that um, the automorphisms somehow committed with the uh, rounding operation corresponding to certain basis. How to achieve this? We find that uh, rounding with respect to uh, the law integral basis is what we need. Simply speaking, a law integral basis is a Z basis of R such that uh, any uh, automorphism uh, sigma I acts as permutation over B which means that sigma IB equals to B up to our permutation. Equivalent with uh, this basis, now we can compute a uh, sigma of a rounding AS in this way. Here, A times S can be interpreted by the integral combination of basis B. Uh, the first equation is the definition of rounding with respect to the basis B. And uh, the case step in a red frame uses the property of normal integral basis because sigma B and B are the same basis. From the argument uh, above, we know that uh, the Lomo integral basis is a key of the reaching in our reduction. So we wish to determine the existence of Lomo integral basis. Here, Bert and Spicer show that uh, Lomo integral basis are widespread if the underlying number field is uh, extremely ramified over Q. This is, a, this is a little involved. Specifically, the power phrase a psychotomical rings sat satisfies this this property. For better understanding, I give some uh, simple examples. Here, k equals to um, qzp0 for some prime p0, and the r is its ring of integers. Then and they have a long integral basis at zp0's power from 1 to p0 minus 1. And when m equals to uh, the product of uh, primes pi, then k and r have a long integral basis of the tensor of BI, where BI is uh, the normal the integral basis of QZPI. Now we finish the reduction of pseudorandomness of ring as a pair and uh, go a further step to the final part. Uh, this result also answers the other open questions in prior works. Before uh, presenting our contribution, I'd like to introduce an interesting reduction for plain LWR proposed by the work of Owen, Korean, Peter Zek, and Wicks in 2013. Their idea is, is use uh, LW to show the pair A and the rounding of A times S is computationally indistinguishable from the pair A uh, and the rounding of random element. Uh, and the key tool of their reduction is an efficient uh, loss simpler with the following two properties. The first one is that uh, the matrix ATL output by the loss simpler. Uh, then LW implies that A theta is computationally indistinguishable from random matrix A. The second one is the pair A theta and the rounding of A theta times S preserve uh, much of the entropy of S. Uh, their reduction path is, is as follows. Step one, uh, switch A to A theta or reverse by LW assumption. Step two is pro proved in the information theoretic way. Uh, which relies on uh, the left over hash lemma over ZQ. They can even show uh, the reduction for the case of leaky secret. 
However, AKPW's approach cannot be applied to ring L, ring L double R. This is because uh, one ring element A is usually invertible, and uh, it is impossible to define the lossy simpler in this case. Furthermore, even if A is not invertible and the lossy simpler is defined, as the rounding ATL times S sphere does not preserve enough entropy for extraction. In fact, ring elsewhere under certain leaky scenario is insecure. In, uh, we brief the attacks as follows. We show that search uh, ring elsewhere ring can be solved if uh, uh, the secret has completely forced into some idea factor J of QR. Actually, S is with uh, no information on uh, G's complement J bar or complete uh, uh, leak on J bar. The high level is that uh, J R is a sub lattice of R and uh, uh, J R is more sparse than R. So large perturbation over R is relatively small to J R. And then we can apply Barbet's algorithm uh, to decode the perturbation. Okay, from this part, we introduce our new Harley's uh, result of module elsewhere. And uh, the module elsewhere is defined as follows. We want to show a reduction from decision ring LWR uh, to decision module LWR even with leakage. Here, let's recall AKPW's approach again. We can generalize it to the ring setting as follows. Similar to AKPW, we can define the lossy simpler over rings and uh, the computational indistinguishability of step one relies on ring L of B. And the rounding of ATL times S preserve enough entropy of S if K is large. Uh, but the main barrier is that uh, there is no uh, ring level, level over H lemma. We finally get rid of this barrier by showing a ring level over H lemma. The so high level is a uh, inner product over a ring is a good extractor. In order to interpret uh, this lemma more precisely, we first introduce the uh, hash function family indexed by vector A in R sub Q to the K. The computation of uh, input X is the inner product of uh, A and X mod QR. We can also define the function and output distribution D H R Q as the distribution of the pair F A and B, where F A is sampled from uh, the function family H and B equals to FAX for some X a sample from the input domain. So the target is to show the distribution DHRQ is statistically indistinguishable from uniformly random distribution. Our main result uh, is that we bound the statistical distance of the two uh, distributions by this way. This bound is determined by the sum of the norms of idea factor Q of QR and the collision probability of input domain mod Q. We sketch our ideas, uh, the ideas of our proof as follows. We first use the one known two known inequality uh, to bound the statistical distance uh, by collision, collision probability of D and the partition the remaining probability by ideas. We need to point out that uh, Ms. Yangchu and Moore's uh, approach of Partition by GCD is not applicable to our case because we cannot uh, define GCD for long uh, unique factorization domain. We also rely on uh, the Chinese remand theory and the fact that uh, the idea P, the prime idea PI is isomorphic to the idea generated by two elements Q and FI alpha for some monica irreducible FI. For more detail, please refer our papers. The statement of our leftover H lemma is a little involved. Here, we can apply it to concrete cases. From our lemma, we know that for general ring, we, uh, the statistical distance between the pair of, uh, of ring vector A, uh, the inner product, product of A, S, mod QR, and the random pair is bounded by Webster when S uh, mod any ideal factor Q has enough entropy. For cyclotomic ring, the entropy requirement of S can be weakened. And if we consider the idea QR uh, with large ideal factor, the entropy of S mod Q can be smaller. 
it leads to remark that when QR has low splitting property, then the norm of, of ideal factor, factors are large, which means that as uh, with small dimensions sufficiently preserve enough entropy. And uh, from the results above, smaller entropy of S uh, mod Q is needed. So this case leads to small parameter size when applying our ring level of hash lemma. On the other hand, high splitting of QR corresponds to large parameters size. Yes, it may be able to accelerate the computation. For example, uh, when Q equals to one mod to N, we can apply the NGT library to accelerate uh, the computation. So there is a trade-off between the efficiency uh, of space and the computation when applying our lemma. Finally, let me, conclu let me conclude this talk. Uh, from this talk, we know that in any uh, segmentomic ring, a ring at the bar is pseudo random if ring at the bar is one way and the QR are completely split. Why does this uh, hold in uh, more general ring settings? And the uh, module at the is pseudo random even with leakage if ring at the is pseudo random and uh, the secret uh, S contains enough entropy but any idea factors of QR. Uh, but we don't know if this holds for if this holds for ring at the bar. Okay, thank you.